Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome back to our continuing coverage from CES 2009. In this episode, we're on the Toshiba stand. Toshiba have a few innovations this year with their TVs. This one is Clear Scan 240. Now it's not exactly 240 hertz. What happens is it's a bit like interlaced video where it takes uh, one portion of one frame, one portion of another, and repeats it so many times that you get the 240 hertz uh, clear scan. So what it's doing is doing 100. It's very complicated. Doing 120 hertz, and then it's taking half frames and doubling up to give you the 240 clear scan. Looking at the images here, it does look nice and crisp and clear, but again, we're on the show floor, so we don't know exactly how it's going to perform with film material. But from the material that's playing, it does look very good, and you certainly don't see any flicker where it changes fields. And yet some more picture processing from Toshiba, this time Resolution Plus. Uh, what it does is it takes a, a high-resolution image, such as an HD image, and then goes through a few steps with it to make sure that uh, the uh, information that you're getting on the screen is exactly what's there. Basically what it's doing is it's adding sharpening and it's adding in other effects there. Now with the demonstration material that we have here, it does look very crisp, it does look detailed, it doesn't appear to be masking any of the detail that's in the image. However, again, we'd like to see film material and TV material on these screens because we just can't tell what the quality is going to be like from what we're seeing here. So we're still in the Toshiba stand and I'm talking to David. Uh, a little bit of an advanced resolution plus that we're looking at here. Now there's three technologies, so maybe you can take us through exactly what it is that we're looking at here. Okay, what we have here is three different technologies. The first we have is the panel you see behind me. And this panel is a, what's called a 4K, 2K panel, four times the resolution of 1080p. So your resolution is 3840 by 2160. 8 million pixels as opposed to 2. So taking this product and moving it to the consumer market, what has been the issue is even though we've got this incredible resolution on our panel, the source material is not available. So we've got to take 1080p and upconvert it. And the video processors have not been able to do it satisfactorily. You ended up with a lot of uh, artifacts in the picture. So what Toshiba has done is take this incredible resolution screen and marry it to the cell processor. And the cell processor is a very powerful video processor that can take 1080p and in real time upconvert it to the 4K, 2K resolution and give you the picture quality that you see behind us here. Now, still a third technology that we're showing here is Toshiba's Resolution Plus. And this is a technology that is in the market today. Resolution Plus is designed simply to deal with the customer dissatisfaction with they've gotten their high definition television home. Uh, they fed some standard definition source, be it through their antenna, cable, satellite, and they're less than happy with the picture quality. So with Resolution Plus, excuse me, <clears throat> Resolution Plus is able to go in, look at frame by frame, increase the sharpness, just doing intelligent edge enhancement, looking at uh, textures, increasing the sharpness and focus there, resulting in a picture closer to what the customer is expecting their standard definition to look like on their high definition television set. Now this is obviously advanced technology that we're talking about here. Yes. Uh, the only market I'm aware of at the moment that's going towards 4K, 2K is Japan. So when are we likely to see these sets coming to the US and then eventually Europe? Well, well this technology is slated to come out in Japan in the fourth quarter of 2009. So it's not that far out in the United States in the first quarter of 2010. Now Europe, I, I, haven't, I, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. But so this is expected to come out soon. But again, even though there's no source material available in the 4K, 2K with the cell processor, we're able to take the best resolution we have today, 1080p, and upconvert it to give you the incredible picture you see here. Well, it is fantastic. David, thanks very much for your time. And thank you very much. And here's yet another cell TV. This time it's an LED backlight TV from Toshiba. Has all the advanced technologies of the cell processor. Uh, so really good picture processing. Uh, simple, powerful uh, graphical interfaces in here as well. 
The only thing I have noticed, and uh, I didn't want to upset David before in the other interview, was that when it, you add in the extra processing, you're adding in picture noise, you're adding in artifacts, I'm sure it'll look great to the majority of consumers, but to be honest, um, to any kind of video file, you're going to notice the difference, and you're going to notice that you're losing quality in the image. But anyway, it's good to see the cell processor actually making it into a TV, and it's an interesting product which should be hitting the market later this year. Okay, folks, well, that's all from the Toshiba booth, and um, we're going to move on now, but as you can see, there's a lot of amateur broadcasters around here as well. We're getting in the way and filing things up, to be honest. You know, maybe they should watch us and learn how the real boys do it.